Hello everyone, uh, Thomas here. Today we're opening a box of outsiders. This is going to be the first one uh, of a case. So we're doing a few uh, videos right after each other, doing a uh, case break. Uh, thus far, outsiders hasn't been that good of a set for us. When we did the last uh, loose box opening, it was completely terrible. We only have like four Majestics in total. <clears throat> so hopefully this time it's going to be uh, a lot better. We also figured out that all the doll boxes were sent to America, of course. Also very much a uh, brush of yellow rainbow foil. Also not a fan of how this set does the rares. Like we have back with, yeah, with only a single rare. It was a very, dis very annoying to learn about during the, um, Skirmish season and the pre-releases makes um, packs or uh, pulls a, a lot. Uh, what's the word? A lot more random in terms of quality. Let's come and shoot red rainbow foil. First Majestic has lead to tail. Uh, hasn't seen any use thus far. So Ancestry, Spinning Wheel Tick, Rainbow Foil. Well, getting used to it that the uh, Majestics are up front now. I think Outsiders has mostly been like a bust in terms of um, ninja cards. We're going to touch blue. Oh, the Ranger and Assassin's cards have given all the uh, the spotlights and competitive play. Like, there are a few cards that I think are definitely good in like a post Outsiders environment after. Oldham has left and Briar has left. But mostly Oldham. Jump, jump. Rainbow Foil Wither. But funny enough, stuff like Fist of Floating Dago. Uh, is a great card against uh, the decks. Puts two cards back and uh, sets up the combo. Three mm. foot sandals, rainbow foil. See that? Good card. Vice Locals Red, Rainbow Foil. Uh, see, limited All Star.
I'm gonna grab a little blue for you. Not terribly exciting but for Scouting short red. All, all very good loot of cards. They do a blue rainbow foil. Funny though, I think this is mostly counterintuitive to what Benji wants to do. Red plunge, rainbow foil, very good one. Be definitely played as in the uh, assassin and ninja. Doesn't look too good for halfway through the box, I think. Only found one majestic so far. Oh, and. Asking you shall receive spike uh spike the trap. I think we got this in our other box opening as well, so not great for the collection. Anything else? Place uh recall red rainbow form. Yes. Yeah, takes a car note. Play yellow rainbow foil. Structure to liberation yellow rainbow foil. Very good card in limited format. Mm. Oh, this is floating dojo. So this is the one I mentioned earlier. Uh, put a certain strike in a card with a combo, which is often always descending. Uh, gust wave or whirling gust wave. So for next turn, you've got a five Gogan and a four Gogan with card draw lined up. I mean, that's I'd say that's pretty good. That's like um, nine damage off of two resources. Infectious host blue rainbow foil. And it still leaves you with the um, two other cards. I said yellow rainbow foil. Probably the only the most competitive food playable of the stuff cards.
Ooh. That's uh that's a pretty neat one. Codex for Blood Rod the Rainbow Foil. It's not the inertia one, but still pretty good pool. Code pool. Uh, blue rainbow foil. Uh, this is like a must-have card for your ranger uh, shield decks. For um, if you want to play Azalea, looking at the top two cards of the deck is so so necessary in in uh, the limited format, just to ensure your um, arrows get dominated or not to waste. Um, your attacks by sending them away with your ability and then uh, not having anything to do. On to punch Ring of Old Blue. Uh, that's where it seems like this is one of our uh, of the best parts we got in terms of pull rates. Nothing yet that beats like the Codex of Frailty, but having uh, down and dirty is nice. I think this is going to be. It has gone down up in price a decent amount because it's been used in the uh, Lexi decks. Sneak attack yellow rainbow foil. Because it's a. Um, very nice card to have as a popper. I can definitely see it get more use um, later on with uh, Prism coming back in CC from the next set. And also, if um, next set, they said there was going to be a Dreamfia specialization in there, might be the classic battles one. Be like water red rainbow foil. But if it's uh, something new, it might also give her a, a push to become more competitively viable. I think she definitely likes something like um, down and dirty to uh, keep Prism or uh, draw my offer for another turn. Ooh, okay. I can't believe we actually have a good box. Trench of Sunken Treasure, Rainbow Foil. Very nice. A cool foil. It's not like I think the most wanted. Legendary from the set, I think the the Vambrace is, I think, the most used one of the Legendaries. And the Dishonor, non-foil. Oh, and a Spinning Wheel Kick and Rainbow Hole, yellow. Alright, last pack. Still haven't found a cold for a while. We had it earlier with um, our previous outsider video that we didn't find a cold for in the box. So I hope this isn't going to be the case uh, this time. Plastic locals, yellow ring of foil. No cold foil. Unless I unless I missed it, but I don't think I have. 
Oh well. Um, still, sunken treasure chest. Or trench of sunken treasure and a rainbow full codex of frailty. Uh, I'd say for outsiders, this is a very good uh, pulls because I honestly think after opening a few boxes that it kind of sucks in terms of uh, openings. Uh, either way, this is only the first box. See you next time for. Uh, the next box, and hopefully uh, this isn't <laughs> this isn't the high note of of the case. All right, see you next time.